first thing in the morning, we're just out for breakfast. And here we are. A nice warm cup of tea. Once we've had our breakfast, we'll show you around uh, York's beautiful. Standing in front of a 2,000 years old wall surrounding the city of York, today is our final day in England. We're heading back home soon, but right now I'm away to enter through this gate into the city of York, and that gate has been used by lots of royal uh, members of royal family in the past, including uh, King Henry VII. King Henry VIII did not go through that gate, actually. He went through another gate, but I still wanted to mention his name anyway. Right, let's go. walking through the streets of York and on a day like today when it's supposed to be nicer and it's overcast look at the number of tourists here we tried booking this cruise behind us as well but it was fully booked so word of caution if you want to travel here you might want to book in advance we're standing right in front of York Art Gallery York is culturally vibrant and historically rich city. So today we've decided that to tour it, we're gonna go on a hop on hop off bus to check out all the major sites very quickly. Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Do you want my ticket? Oh yeah, just scan it there. If I can find it, I think I tucked it away in yeah. a box. Back in the Victorian times, lots of them are actually covered up with veils for modesty. In the Victorian times, they're actually wanting to tear down all of the city walls for ease of traffic flow. Now, it was originally a teaching college, however, it gained university status back in the early 2000s. We don't have time to queue up for like hours, so we'll have to come back for Betty's next time. I think CB believes the treasure is hidden in this fountain at the treasurer's house.
to do with you. They founded it for one in 71 AD. They named their new fortress Ibaraku, where the River Ouse and the River Foss met. And it was chosen by the Ninth Legion Hispania, the Ninth Spanish Legion. And archaeological evidence here. indicates that they built a 50 meter square wall around it and built everything a working legion would need inside. Just so you know, the Minster stands roughly at where the centre of the fort would have been. Now we know the Ninth Legion fought many battles against the native Braganti tribe, but they all need Rackham as their base to conquer the North. Well, records of their activities only last till about 120 AD. Then they just seem to disappear. Oof. Almost as if they never even existed. That's why they're so lovingly known as the Lost Legion. Do -do 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 -do. And if you love books, I'm sure you would like to spend all day in this shop. drag Anila away from the here because she loves tea and this shop has got a lot of flavors of tea so I think we're in trouble we need to get going Anila <laughs> and who doesn't like a freebie cheers this concludes our very short trip in New York so please subscribe to Scottistani YouTube channel and like comment and share Hopefully see you on our next trip very soon. Bye-bye.